Maybe you're starting a YouTube channel or a podcast and you are on a budget. What options do you have? Because audio is a must. You need good audio if you want to succeed with YouTube or anything on social media where you have to talk or podcast. You do need some good audio. But what can we get if we are on a strict budget? Well, Toner has you covered. The TC30 USB Condenser microphone this mic is only $35 34.99 on Amazon right now and of course I will drop all the links below so you can check it out we're going to jump right into packaging here very nice very clean toner TC30 that is a picture of the mic so you can see plug and play we get everything we need to start getting better audio now on the back it does tell us a little bit about it this is a cardioid pattern so you're going to want to talk right into the front of it plug and play clear sound on here now let's check out what we get inside of the box. The microphone, of course, the branding here, the black and the gray color, a plastic build on here, but it doesn't feel cheap. Now the USB-C port on the back, and this is your cable. So you do have the USB-C cable and USB-A. This will plug directly into your computer, and you will control everything from your computer. Again, there's no gain knob on here. though. There is no mute switch on this mic. It's just plug and play, connect it to your PC, and you are good to go. Now, we do get a pop filter on here with the toner branding on it. The arm also has the branding, and we'll put all this together in a second. Now, we also get a tripod for your desk, your table, wherever you are going to be using this. So three legs on the bottom of the tripod. This does loosen up, and you can adjust this and the angle to which you want to speak to. Now, we also get a shock mount here. You can see on the inside here, we do have some rubber bands. The microphone will sit inside of there, and that will help with some vibration sound, right? If you are talking and it's a podcast or whatever it is and you bang on your desk or you're using your keyboard, you're going to be able to hear those vibrations. Those vibrations will travel up the legs of your tripod and you will be able to hear them through your microphone. These rubber bands will help reducing some of that noise that might creep up into your audio. So let's just connect this. Let's put it together, and then we're going to do some audio test. You guys can hear how it sounds, and let me know what you think. But first things first, let's put it together. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to throw this in. And let's see. This is the back, back here. So we're going to put it in here. Again, the rubber bands will act as your shock mount. And that's pretty much it. Super easy to get that on there. And again, we do want to tilt it a little bit to face up towards my voice and you can already see how that sits in there on the rubber band. So very nice and very clean. Now the pop filter, of course, this will help with your plosives, your, your P's and all those sounds you don't want to creep into your audio. Now the pop filter does slide right into the top here and it does kind of, you want to kind of sit it about a quarter inch away from the top of your microphone. You don't want it touching your microphone, and this actually looks to be about perfect. So we're going to plug this into the computer, and we will switch over to the Toner TC30. Now the audio you are hearing right now is from the Toner TC30. Let me know what you think of the audio quality of this $35 microphone. I think they do a fantastic job of giving us good quality audio if you're on a budget, again, this is perfect if you are just starting out and you don't have a lot of money to spend on something like this, like the SM7B or even the pod mic here, which is a $100 microphone, but you need, it's an XLR microphone, so you are going to need an audio interface to get this to work. But we are going to compare the audio on these in a second. But right now, I'm just going to stop talking for a second. I do have some PCs running in the background with some fans on high. You guys let me know if you can hear. I'm just going to be quiet for a minute, and you guys can let me know if you can pick up any of those sounds. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my keyboard. I'm going to type with the keys. Let me know if you can hear this, how loud it is, if it doesn't sound too bad. And I'm just going to bump the table a little bit and we'll see how good this shock mount does at taking some of the vibrations and the sound out. So I'm just going to bang on it. Let me know what you guys think. Right now we're going to switch over to pop mic. I'm just only going to talk on the pop mic for a couple seconds just to see the difference on 
What is a really good XLR microphone compared to just a plug and play $35 mic? All right, guys, the pod mic. This is a fantastic $100 XLR microphone. Let me know what you think of this microphone. But more importantly, let me know what you think of how this sounds compared to a $35 USB plug and play microphone. Again, no pop filter on here right now. There is one built in, but it's not that good. But let me know what the audio sounds like compared to the toner. I do want to move this closer and put it directly in front of my face. And just let me know what you guys think. I think this mic is fantastic for the price. I think the audio quality on here is really good. But, you know, it's all my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think. Again, the pod mic right here. And then the toner TC30 plug and play USB condenser microphone. I'm impressed. Now, one of the things I would like to see, maybe a little gain knob on here to adjust the gain when I needed to adjust the gain. I would like this to be a little taller, right? I feel like I have to bend over to talk into it, but maybe, you know, I could put it on a boom arm like this if I really wanted to, or I can bump it up a little bit and just get a different kind of mount for it. But overall, look, for the price, I really don't have any complaints, and I think they do a really good job at giving crispy, clean audio at a really, really affordable price. But let me know, let me know what you think of the design of this microphone. Let me know if you heard the fans in the background or how loud the keyboard was, or if you heard any noise when I was banging on the table and if the shock mount was doing anything to help prevent some of that vibration sound coming up. But let me know, 36 bucks, 35 bucks, Toner, TC30. That's it, guys. I'll be back soon. Hit that like button. Give me a sub. Peace.